I can sort of see, um, looking at the history of uh, the 1980s, um, why atheism became like a thing in the United States in the, the early 2000s. It kind of has dwindled now though, in, uh, I think it was in the aftermath of maybe uh, 2013 and maybe 2016, but, uh, but at least um, in, in retrospective, um, in the 1980s you have uh, people like Reagan and uh, there was like uh, the, re the religious right that kind of uh, became a new thing back then. Uh, because it, it was kind of meant to take people back more to um, um, and kind of the you know go away from the hedonistic uh, era of the 60s and 70s so that was kind of what the relig religious right was and uh, I guess it's kind of the nature of chaos of uh, pol pol the values that people have um, um, and so basically uh, because of this then this created another cycle in the early 2000s which was the atheist movement uh, uh, this was kind of the criticism of the the irrationality of religion uh, that was kind of the idea of the atheism of the early 2000s and um, and yeah that, that's kind of what uh, the the nature of the uh, views kind of does to people uh, um, for example I do think Goldwater has a better idea of abortion than uh, than what the most Republicans or conservatives have uh, I mean I'm not saying that every conservative think like this but uh, the majority wise it's that abortion is bad um, and I do I just think that uh, I just don't uh, see the point of uh, you know pr uh, preventing it because uh, uh, because uh, e even if you did they are just gonna fall down some stairs or something if they really wanted to you know do abortion so it's not like you're gonna stop them if you even prevent abortion clinics but but I, I, I agree with the Goldwater on this I think that uh, abortion should not be a political issue it should be a personal issue uh, it should be something that you may consider immoral, but it shouldn't be like uh, something that should be in politics because it it kind of makes uh, the right look a little bit like clownish uh, rather than focus on policies. And uh, I do think there's some good point there, um, but that's just a small uh, issue. Here. Um, the main uh, the main thing with the 1980s of Reagan politics, uh, and I do love the 1980s for many things. You know, pop culture was the best in 1980s. Uh, in terms of music and uh, video games and uh, movies, uh, I do think the 1980s made the best of them in terms of creativity. So, the 1980s is, in my view, the favorite decade. Uh, even if you disagree with the uh, political outcome of, you know, Reagan politics and uh, and the value system, but uh, uh, but but I do think that uh, but I do think that at least in context to. Uh, uh, of uh, why the atheist movement happened in the early 2000s, uh, I do, I just think that um, it kind of uh, stands back from the from the real religious right from the 1980s, and I'm gonna link it in the uh, in the description below of a Wikipedia article on that. But but that's uh, probably why uh, it kind of become became a thing, and I don't think it's as popular now though with the atheist movement as it was before. But but it was a very big thing in the early 2000s at least, uh, uh, and it and it had a huge thing on YouTube uh, f uh, for a while because of this. Um, so we had people like Richard Dawkins and Sam Harris and uh, Christopher Hitchens. Uh, uh, may may not God rest in may not God rest in peace. I mean, he had some really good uh, criticism at least. Uh, at least of Mother Teresa, I think he was very good on that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's basically um, in context. That's probably what led that to happen. And you know, there there was some debate whether the eighties movie was uh, really obnoxious and uh, counterproductive, but. Uh, uh, but I do think there's some important discussion. Uh, um, but yeah, it was mostly, I guess it was mostly just uh, kind of, uh, you know, like uh, like the nature of humans is chaotic. So that's kind of what the uh, kind of, uh, in a sense, led to in a sense. Uh, but yeah, in terms of, um, but, I guess, but I guess the arguments are typical of, uh, you know, um, I do definitely agree that... Um, that devotion culture in government is bad, you know, like Catholicism or Sunni Islam, and, and I, I don't mean that religion itself is bad, even though atheists may disagree with me on that. Uh, I just, I just don't think that if you have devotion culture in government, uh, that usually uh, kind of stagnates society. Uh, if you even look at the history of uh, middle medieval Europe, or uh, uh, you know, um, it, it, I mean, the early days of Islam was okay because uh, I, I don't think uh, science stagnated yet, but. Uh, when fundamentalism took over, then it kind of uh, dwindled more on science, uh, because devotion culture. Uh, I think the, the the criticism there is that the, uh, if your if your whole idea in government is to be devoted to something, and uh, and uh, you kind of leave society uh, on the secondary level, and 
and you and your whole purpose is to you know um you know devotion process then uh, you kind of are, aren't really uh working it out you aren't like helping the society or people uh, but in comparison to Protest protestantism or secularism which has more of a history of work culture um uh, there has been more pros progress there in terms of uh you know uh, it, it's not it's not like, like religion itself can be bad but it's more the culture around it so so in terms of Protestant Christianity for example um uh, there was more focus on actually you know pro progressing society in terms of uh, allowing uh, open mindedness towards intellectuals and uh, kind of working it out and so that's really the thing I think it's a culture that is about devotion that uh, that kind of uh, is is a problem for society um but yeah uh, I guess I'm kind of going off topic here, but uh, but the point is, um, in a, the 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 reason for the the atheist movement from the early 2000s is it kind of uh, st it kind of stems from the 1980s religious right, really. So I just want to cover that up a little bit, uh, uh, or cover it. Uh, but it, but it's interesting. Um, uh, what do you think? Um, and I guess I forgot one more thing too. Um, and also, I do think there there's some criticism of uh, how religion, uh, at least religious religious extremism, uh, can be dangerous. Um, and this is very uh, important to the eighties too of the how the the re re religious right kind of. Um, I do think they had some part in it. Uh, for example, um, and uh, there there was this enemy, you know, communism. Uh, uh, it was um, it was kind of the um, you know anti-communist sentiment and uh, and I can see why people are anti-communist but uh, but uh, the reason why uh, uh, what that has some part in is um, and people uh, USA back then was pretty pro mujahideen in Afghanistan and and they were the ones who fight f who fought uh, uh, you know the communists who tried to take over Afghanistan from Russia ba basically um, uh, so uh, so so basically Americans supported those because they they kind of assumed they were on their side basically and and uh, they and, and that kind of gave way to political jihad um i mean i'm not saying that islamism hasn't been a thing before i mean there has been extremists before but uh, but this kind of uh, you know paved more way for it in a sense uh, so the political jihad uh, was kind of became political i mean jihad itself means struggle in uh, i think it means struggle in arabic or to struggle at least um but yeah, that, it's kind of a, like a religious thing in Islam that you are supposed to struggle for something. Uh, but yeah, in this case, political jihad was uh, mainly uh, holy warfare, and it, it kind of became this uh, rogue thing that uh, kind of developed into a, you know, a thing. Um, so basically, later on, you you probably got uh, groups like Al Qaeda and stuff. Um, and I do I do think maybe, at, maybe it was uh, developed in uh, 1987 or something. Um, but yeah, it was probably during the Afghanistan war at least. Um, uh, but basically, um, I don't think uh, Al Qaeda became more known enemy before before the World Trade Center bombing. In uh, the first one was in nineteen ninety three actually. I mean, there was a bomb attempt, but uh, they failed uh, before a tragedy hit in uh, two thousand and one, uh, 11 11th September. So, uh, uh, but basically, um, uh, but yeah, it, it was kind of uh, when. Uh, you know, Osama bin Laden started attacking American embassies and stuff that uh, he kind of became uh, the enemy. Um, uh, but uh, but that's uh, how, the nature of how uh, terrorism, in terms of religious extremism, it could have uh, have a, a you know a, a origin there from the eighties. And um, and you know um, uh, and I guess also. Um, yeah, I guess I can talk a little bit about the war uh, on terror too, uh, because uh, I guess I can cover that one a little bit. Um, not that it, this is not very. I don't think this is relevant to religion, but I'm just gonna cover it just to cover it in the video at least. Um, but basically, um, when um, in the in the 1980s too, uh, there was also this fear of the Iranian revolution in uh, Iraq. You know the, that that one happened in Iran in 1979, um, and in Iraq they. Americans kind of fear that this would also happen there, so they supported actually uh, Iraq and Saddam, Saddam Hussein, um, the dictator of Iraq, and they they kind of supplied them with weapons. I mean, it was not only USA. I think England and other countries too also supported Iraq in the 1980s. Um, uh, but that changed though when uh, Iraq uh, attacked Kuwait, uh, and that led to the Gulf War. Uh, and that was in 1991, I think. Uh, uh, but uh, but the p the point is uh, because you know uh, Kuwait was kind of like an, a an ally to United States and uh, you know 
that didn't go well with the United States so that's when Iraq basically became an, uh, an enemy to uh, Iraq became basically an enemy to United States uh, after that and so I, I do think that the whole uh, you know uh, the whole uh, idea of uh, Iraq having nuclear weapons I, I just think that was an excuse to invade it I I just think that the reason why they invaded was because of the whole Kuwait situation uh, they kind of just wanted to you know I mean if they're gonna start a war on terror you know why why, why not you know I, I think that was just an excuse to invade Iraq and just uh, decentralize it uh, uh, to kind of uh, you know uh, to kind of not uh, make it happen again or something um, that has some, that's my fear at least I don't think it had anything to do with nukes I think it was more of a political uh, assessment, assessment in a sense um, uh, but yeah, uh, um, but yeah I guess uh, that was a little bit off topic of me to cover but I just think uh, it's kind of important because I do think there's a lot of uh, I do I just think there's a lot of uh, you know conspiracy online is terrible rather than just looking at the facts of why they may want to invade something you know but yeah um but the point is uh there is some legit criticism of re religious extremism and and uh, you know if you if you really look at how the political uh, religious extremism happened uh, in the aftermath of the 1980s uh, you know in terms of fighting communists and uh, you know, uh, uh, there was some legit criticism in the early 2000s by atheists, and but most of them was just uh, chaos. Though, <laughs> in general, uh, it was just uh, kind of just uh, you know, <laughs> flanting back and forth. But but in terms of the what the culture created and what it can do to people, in terms of re religious extremism in government and uh, and political you know terrorists and such, uh, I mean this uh, definitely had some impact on that. I think. Uh, in terms of uh, what they fueled in Afghanistan and what that could uh, bite them in the ass in the future, um, I, d I definitely do think that there, this had some impact on uh, the the nature of terrorism. And uh, I mean, there there have definitely been terrorists outside of Islamism, like uh, Anders Bering Breivik in Norway, for example. Um, uh, so there's political ex terrorism too. Um, but yeah, in terms of the the very widespread jihad, uh, uh, the whole uh, thing. Um, this has definitely had some impact there um but yeah i just want to cover that a little bit on the uh, religion uh, versus uh, re er, the the culture of religious right versus the atheism of uh in america of uh, of the 2000s i just i just find find it interesting in a historic perspective i think uh, but yeah thank you for listening to this video and bye